When the guns fired on Fort Sumter in April 1861, the federal government had about 500,000 shoulder arms held in arsenals in northern states. About 80% of these were 69 caliber smoothbores. The southern states possessed only about a third as many long guns, many seized from federal arsenals, and again, most were smoothbore muskets. These included old model 1816 and 1822 Springfield flintlock muskets, some of which had been converted to the percussion system and some not, as well as model 1842 muskets, which were manufactured as percussion guns from the start.